selling just this one actually just this one for twenty dollars so i was like you know what why don't i just package both of them like crazy ebay listings for like hundreds and hundreds one person was like i figured out the median of the cost and it was 600 um i want to give a huge shout out to actually three three main channels that i watch what's up everybody i hope you're all having a great day today i am back for another video it's been a while since my last in real life video and that was me game hunting and you guys saw a bit of that but i didn't go too in depth so today i'm gonna go a little more in depth about my reselling what i'm keeping actually you already saw what i'm keeping so i'll just let you know a little bit into the video you know that's my kind of video just random stuff throughout but anyways, I'm going to show you a little more about the reselling stuff that I has sold. I'm going to put some comps on the screen. Sold comps is what they call them. I'm trying to get a little more familiar with this slang. Also want to give a few shout outs to some people. Let's get straight into it. All right, guys. So the first couple of things I have right here are these Pokemon stickers. If you watch my other video, you would know that I said I was going to keep them. But I looked it up on eBay and someone is selling just this one, actually. Just this one for $20. So I was like, you know what? Why don't I just package both of them? for $20 and we'll see if it gets bought. It hasn't yet, but we're still gonna wait on that. Obviously it does take patience and lots of inventory to be a good reseller is what I've learned so far from a few resellers that I've watched and I'll shut them out a little bit later into that episode. But let's get another one here. You did see me um, talk about this, whether I was gonna keep it or not and I didn't know. It does only have the disc and the disc is very scratched if you guys wanna see that. Um, I don't know if you can tell on here. Yeah, you can a little bit. Yeah, it's very scratched up. It does work. I tested it and played it a little bit. It does definitely work. And it's, you know, I mean, it's okay. The case is good. The game works. So it's okay. I'm, I put it up for like $6. I got this for like, you could say one or two because I got three DVDs for $5. So that's that. And another thing here, this peach case, I didn't know whether I was, what I was going to do with this too. And I did end up putting it up for $15. I think it is a little bit dirty, but the inside is really cool. There's kind of high demand for it because a lot of people love peach. And there's not a lot. I don't see a lot of these anywhere. I looked on eBay. I looked on Mercari. I didn't see a lot of these anywhere. I maybe saw two on each site. Maybe that might be a stretch. Um, but yeah, selling this and that's that. Guys, I'm down here next to my chair now showing you stuff. But I did want to give a couple shout outs before we continued. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to actually three three main channels that I watch. Um, they're going to be the Commonwealth Picker. Really cool dude. Goes out, you know, gets all his stuff. He's been doing it for a while now, actually, which I just learned, which is really cool. Commonwealth Picker. Shout out to you. Very cool stuff. I always watch his content, you know, when I'm chilling, when I'm just doing anything, you know, always just watching. It's really cool, informative, you know, know what to look out for. So I really enjoy that. Shout out to him. Second is Cheap Finds Gold Mines. I think I'm saying that right. I think the S is on both. Um, there are a couple and they go out and they, you know, just find stuff. Really, really cool. Mostly video games, which is, you know, as you can see, probably see. Let me turn around here. All of that. So that's kind of, that's up my alley, which is really cool. And I'm actually reselling video games. So they're really cool too. Shout out to them. You can see them on YouTube. And lastly, it's going to be Collector's Luck, which is also mainly video games and reselling. Shout out to him too. He gets really cool, like Facebook marketplace deals usually, which is what I watch. And always going to look out for those too. So yeah, that's that. Shout out to all those awesome people. I'll put their links in the description and I'll also put a card on them for this also put a card on the screen for them if I can figure out how to do that. Shout out to all those awesome people. Thank you. All right, guys, some more stuff here. We got this space robot from Kid Stuff, and it's a remote control, I think. Yeah, remote control. It says it's right there. Duh. Um, I got this at Goodwill for $5, and I listed it for $20. I think it'll go for 5 or 10 so this is kind of my mistake. You know, I'm new to reselling, trying to get into it, trying to get, you know, an expansive inventory, really, to just try, you know, start things off. I can't do everything at once. I don't have a car. I can't drive, so I kind of just have to be flexible for now. But I got this. This still hasn't sold, but, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll ride it out. You know, you got to be patient, like I said. Um, we'll put that over there because we got to bring in all these Xbox games. I don't know if I showed you these last week, but we did actually sell the Scooby-Doo one for $15. I did have it listed for $20, and, well, we accepted an offer for $15 because that covers the whole cost of the garage sale, which was $12. So I got these all for 2 bucks. And these are all listed for 10. This is this is listed for 10. This is listed for 10. This is listed for 15. 
Um, so that would be nice. And this is listed for 10. So, you know, I spent 12 on the whole thing. I could make like what, 70 or something. So really cool. That's, you know, some of those channels I've been watching, you know, how you collect and get to keep stuff at the same time while reselling. So you maintain your money while you resell and get the money back. That's kind of hard to say. I'm kind of trying to figure that out, but <laughs> don't mind me. Um, and here we got Maple the Bear. This was in Goodwill. I saw this um, complete, you know, just like never been open. It does have this flap thing. I see like crazy eBay listings for like hundreds and hundreds. One person was like, I figured out the median of the cost and it was 600. But there's also listings for a dollar that are like, you know, complete like this, this exact same one. So I listed mine for $6, you know, just to see what I can get. And we'll see on that. It was $1. So we'll see what I can do. All right, guys, the last thing I want to show you here are these little desktop games. I don't really know if they're desktop or just, you know, wherever you want them to be. But um, one of them said desktop. And they're just these, these like, little four games that you play. I don't I don't know. I don't really know what they are. I don't like them that much. Obviously, I got these all for a dollar. They were a quarter each. And I listed them for 15 I thought that was a pretty good investment. So I was like, yeah, why not? That's fine. And, uh, yeah, listed for 15 haven't been bought yet, but we're hoping and we're holding on because it takes patience. Patience is a huge part. That's what I've learned from all those awesome channels. If you learn one thing, learn patience and learn your inventory. All right, everyone, back in the chair now. Before I leave you guys for today, just for today, you know, I'll be back in another off day, on day. I like to say that. I don't know why. I think it's funny. Huh, you left? Okay, sorry. I'll move on. Um... But yeah, I want to close it out by showing you a couple of few sales that I got. I did sell my Legos that I just had, you know, lying around. I sold those to really start off my reselling journey. And uh, I also sold a plush that I had for $5. I think another plush for $10 that I actually did get at Goodwill for $8 for the whole thing. And I sold the one for 10 So that was really cool. Um, that's still going through. All the money's still transferring. We're going to go garage sale hunting this Sunday. It's currently Friday. Um, if it doesn't rain, in fact, if it doesn't, if it does rain, you know, that sucks. We might just go to the flea market down a little bit way. So hopefully it's not raining there. But um, yeah, we did recuperate some money. I'll show you more like statistical stuff later on. I'm still recording on my phone. So I got to figure out like how I'm going to do it with the Mac and everything and how I'm going to show you stuff. But definitely more of that will be coming because I do like the in real life videos. And I think you guys do too. Based on the views, they're going up a little bit. I appreciate all the love and support. Once again, a shout out to all those guys. We'll say them one more time. Commonwealth Picker, Cheap Find Gold Mines, Cheap Finds Gold Mines, and um, Collector's Luck. Also, Retro Rick, but I'll talk about him in a different episode because, you know, give more shout outs. But he's more of collecting type. I'm mentioning the resellers. So, yeah, that is that, guys. I'll list any more sold comps I have on there. You know, if I missed them, if they were really good. Um, I think I might have sold another plush. And I also sold that Xbox game for 15 which I already told you, pop it up here though, because why not? You know, I'm going to have to pop it up again. Myself, that's going to be editing this tomorrow, will be like, oh, pop it up right then when I talk about it. Now I'll have to pop it up again, which is like, wow. Now I'll hear myself talking about it. But anyways, I'm rambling on, guys. Question of the day, what is your favorite thing that I'm selling? You know, like, is it the games? Is it um, the stickers? The other game? The Wii game? The Peach case? Let me know. Let me know what you think is cool. If you would buy it, if you would adjust the price, if you would pay more for it, let me know all of that in the comments down below. That is the question of the day. Guys, you can find me on all my socials at Honest Ship. More videos coming soon. Check out my podcast at Nintendo Bros. And I think that about wraps it up, guys, from all of my collection. Sorry for the sunlight right there. All my collection right there. Oh, you can actually see that's, um, that's Commonwealth Picker if you zoom in enough. That is Commonwealth Picker, and I bet you if I scroll a little bit, I'll find those other channels. So that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one, guys.